And uh, I just ended up uh, magically at the University of California in Santa Cruz, which of their 11 campuses is by far and away the most experimental and liberal and non judgmental So I had a great time there and I, I learned about the herb. I've learned about the first place I ever saw hashish and, and uh, started meeting people who actually were directly involved. The first hashish I ever smoked, I smoked with the guy who brought it from Pakistan. You know, as a student, it was pretty simple back in those days. It wasn't, uh, it's pretty easy to figure it all out at the start. And I uh, I needed to graduate. I, you could graduate by writing a dissertation. So I wrote the Botany and Ecology of Cannabis, which I then self-published a year later. It came out in 77, so it's been a while. But that's what got me started. It's the educational system. It was the the science of it all. And, uh, and what um what materials was there prior to you writing your dissertation? You know, was there very much material to look at even, or were you really you know looking at plants and coming up with this all from scratch? No, there was. It's a library dissertation. It's much like my work today. It's based on what other people have done and trying to put it together in a. Uh, form that people can understand and that's the struggle really but uh there was a lot of stuff then it was mostly with hemp it was early 70s um united nations sponsored work the bulletin of narcotic or bulletin on yeah narcotic drugs that was there was all kinds of stuff out there you just had to get it through the library system the only book that was there i discovered right off the bat and that was mark merlin's man and marijuana and and that was about the ethnobotanical relationship between humans and the cannabis plant and he i believe his little booklet little hardcover cute little book great collector's item it it came out in 76 if i remember right or maybe maybe a year or two earlier even there you go and uh it, one. Sure it really uh it showed me as another student, 73, there you go. That's a Perpetus edition. So it actually came out a bit earlier in the 72. There you go. But uh, he, in University of Chicago Press, this is like our later work together, Cannabis um, Evolution and Ethnobotany. This is published by a major, major press. Our, our book was University of California Press. University of Chicago is one of the top five in America still is. So you can see from that as an undergraduate trying to graduate, that was a master's dissertation Mark did at University of California, Santa Barbara. So I, I had a model 